y'all. This is Angie coming to you from Angie's Courtyard. Thank you so much for tuning in. I wanted to jump on and wish you guys a fantastic Thursday. And, you know, I'm not really sure where you're tuning in from, but where I am right now, it's very windy, very cloudy. It's a kind of a blah, blah, blah kind of day. Um, you know, I say that to say, although it's very windy, you know, I hear the wind hitting against my SUV. It's very aggressive. You know, dust is all in the, all in the streets. Things are blowing on people's windshields. But yet, my SUV is still going forward. It's going against the wind. It's not intimidated by the wind. It is not being distracted by the wind. It's not being thrown into another lane by the wind. It is not being thrown off track by the wind. Uh, I hope you're getting it. It's not being um, discouraged by the wind. It's not being overtaken by the wind. And, you know, I say that to say we are machines. We have to go against the grain. We have to go against the grind. You know, things are going to happen in our life. We're going to get things windy. You're going to have things, excuse me, windy things are going to occur. You know, death is going to occur. Uh, finance, financial issues may arise. Health issues may arise. Relationship issues may arise. You know, procrastination, fear. These type of windy events are going to happen and they might come against us in our life, but we cannot be distracted. You know, like this SUV, we got to keep on going. As long as I keep hitting this gas, this SUV is going. It's not going to stop. When did the gas die down in your machine? Are you fully um, hitting the, the, um, the gas pedal? Are you accelerating? Are you going for it? You know, don't be distracted by things that are going to happen in your life. Don't be... Um, thrown off track don't be uh dismayed don't be uh disappointed don't be you know um uh, uh, less enthused about enthusiastic about your life because something comes up you know it's just to make you stronger it's just to see if you're going to withstand we were not built to break we were not built to bend we were not built to um, give in we were built and equipped to get through this thing called life and it, I'm, I'm like really Really, really leaping because as I was driving my car, as I was driving the car, you know, this morning I sent my son out. I'm like, you know, warm the car up, make sure there's enough gas in it, make sure the kids, everybody, um, seats are adjusted and properly put in the car. Make sure you know you have your backpack. Make sure you have everything, all your supplies that you're going to need to get your day accomplished. And that's how we have to be every day we wake up. Make sure that our machines are fully equipped. Make sure we're fully gassed up. Are you on a full tank? Are you on a half a tank? Are you on a quarter of a tank? Do you need to call in somebody, uh, uh, a mechanic to come in and um, look you over and to help you and show you where you're where you're weak at show you where the leak is you know that's where you call calling your mentors that's when you call in you know someone you admire um that you look up to that you aspire to 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 be like uh to be in their like to be um well off like they are you know it's okay to have people you can call in you know when our our cars get um wear and tear you know cars have wear and tear we as machines we we have wear and tear but it's okay to go take it into the shopping and get a look over and go to someone who is going to um, tell you the truth go to someone who's not going to try to cheat you out of your out of your money you know so there's some mechanics some crooked mechanics out there who will say something's wrong and there's nothing wrong and they overlook the real issue go to a mechanic who's really going to look at your issue um, and then get your machine properly um, properly prepare properly um maintenance so you can get the task done you know just like today is a very windy day when that wind come against you you should be able to withstand it so I, that blessed me i really want to jump on and just drop that little quick nugget with you withstand stand the test of time um don't let the wind move you don't be moved you know stand your ground stay planted stay on a firm 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 foundation you know you don't want to be on a rocky foundation in which you, you'll be you'll be swayed here and there nothing you have nothing solid you'll stand for nothing so you know just like this whole election thing is going on people about to lose their minds you know uh, it's going to be what it is and it, it, it's sad to say that you know it's going to be what it's going to be all we can do is truly truly uh you know get your house in order look around what's going on in your home um look what what's going on within you what you need to change to get yourself right because baby is about to go down and we seriously seriously need to be ready seriously need to be equipped seriously need to be prepared and you know I, and it's very it's, it, i find it very humorous that you know we have these groups that that come up and everybody's it's an outcry but they only come out when when um when an issue happens no you need to if you're going to have a group stand stand when 
you're not in the forefront. You know, where there's unity, there is strength. You know, like our Martin Luther Kings and our Malcolm X's, they stood for they stood for something. You know, they they gave their lives for it. Are you willing to give your life for what you believe in? You people people are so fickle. People are so um wishy washy. They jump on the neck the, the the current bandwagon. And that's why nothing ever gets done. That's why nothing gets never gets changed you know you have people let's boycott this let's boycott that and people don't take them seriously because you gotta be you gotta be um who you are in the spotlight when you're not in the spotlight if that makes sense you know it's it, it, where there's unity there's strength I, I can't really stress that enough people seriously seriously we got to get ourselves in order we got to get our house in order so we can withstand this wind that is about to come because there is a wind that's coming there's a tornado that is about to hit and i don't mean you know that the, the uh, natural tornadoes spiritual tornadoes that are about to hit and we have to be properly equipped we have to be um we have to be in alignment we have to be in order so I really, really wanted to jump on and bless you with that. It blessed my soul. Have a great, great, great weekend. Um, until next time, you know, I truly want you guys to, you know, love hard, hug tight, and uh, say a kind word, speak a kind word very, very often. Because tomorrow is not promised to no one. And you have to live your days on purpose. You got to make your days count. So make it count. Okay. Until next time, God bless you.